Trump is running for president right now, and we all hope he will win. After all, his presidency was one of the best in the history of America, if not of the world. Remember when he said all of those things about deporting those people? Yeah, that was definitely based. And definitely, we miss that. Joe Biden hasn't given us all of that juicy entertainment, and when you stop to think about it for a moment, does he even have a funny catchphrase like Trump does? Yeah, I don't think so. Make America great again, that's what we all want. And as we love him so much, why don't we sit back and enjoy some of our favorite president's favorite moments, shall we? I would really have, I think we'd be winning by a lot. Let's start. In the still of the night, President Trump gifted the digital world with a puzzle wrapped in a tweet, known now and forever as the Kofdif tweet. This singular message, intended or not, became a viral sensation, sparking a global guessing game. What was Trump trying to say? Was Kofdif a coded message, a sleep-deprived slip, or Trump's unique way of testing the waters of digital discourse? The tweet stood untouched, uncorrected, and proud, much like Trump himself, inviting interpretation, parody, and a deluge of memes. This was Trump's inadvertent linguistic legacy, a word that meant nothing and yet everything, perfectly encapsulating the unpredictable nature of his presidency. Trump's Kofif moment transcended its origins, becoming a cultural phenomenon. It was as if Trump had thrown a digital curveball, watching with amusement as the world scrambled to catch it. The tweet was a testament to Trump's unparalleled ability to dominate the conversation, intentional or not. Entrepreneurs, comedians, and meme creators jumped on the Kofif bandwagon, churning out content that ranged from the hilarious to the absurd. In the world of Trump's Twitter feed, Kofif was a standout, a nonsensical word that became a symbol of the times, a testament to the chaotic, unpredictable narrative that was his administration. It was going to be hitting directly, and that would have affected a lot of other states. Sharpiegate marked an unprecedented moment in Trump's presidency, where a Sharpie became mightier than the facts. When Trump altered the path of a hurricane with a marker, it wasn't just a weather map that was redrawn, it was the line between reality and interpretation. The Sharpie, in Trump's hands, became a tool of presidential power, capable of redirecting storms and stirring a tempest of media coverage. This act of meteorological improvisation became a symbol of Trump's approach to governance, unconventional, unapologetic, and always, invariably, headline-grabbing. The Internet's response to Sharpiegate was swift and merciless, with Trump at the epicenter of a comedic whirlwind. Satirists and critics had a field day, sketching out a future where Sharpies could redraw state lines, resolve geopolitical disputes, or even sketch out new realms of possibility. Trump's Sharpie-enhanced map was not just a meme, it was a meta-commentary on the nature of truth and authority in the Trump era. It underscored a key facet of Trump's presidency, the belief that with enough conviction, and perhaps a permanent marker, any narrative could be redrawn. Proof that Melania is happy, and definitely no more proof the president has six-pack abs. Genimos, CNN. The announcement of the Space Force by Trump was a bold leap towards the stars, intertwining the realms of military strategy and science fiction. Trump's vision of a spacefaring military branch captured the public's imagination and skepticism in equal measure. It was as if Trump, in his quest for a legacy, reached for the most distant frontier, space. The Space Force was Trump's answer to the final frontier, a grandiose project that seemed to straddle the line between visionary leadership and the plot of a sci-fi movie. This initiative was classic Trump, ambitious, unexpected, and ripe for both admiration and parody. The reaction to Trump's space force was a cosmic cocktail of humor and awe. The internet erupted with visions of Trump as an intergalactic commander, leading charges against extraterrestrial threats and planting the American flag on distant planets. Have the tools, resources, and equipment you need to fight and to win all the time to win. God bless you, God bless our military, and God bless 
America. God bless America. The Space Force became a canvas for the public's wildest dreams and deepest sarcasms, a testament to Trump's ability to inspire a spectrum of sentiments. It was a bold move, emblematic of Trump's presidency, a tenure marked by grand gestures, fierce debates, and an unyielding push towards the unprecedented. Trump Cinco de Mayo tweet boasting about the best taco bowls at Trump Tower was not just a foray into culinary critique, it was a slice of Trump's brand of diplomacy, served with a side of controversy. This tweet was classic Trump, blending the personal with the presidential in a way that only he could. The Taco Bowl tweet wasn't just about food, it was a statement, a nod to Trump's knack for stirring the pot of public opinion with a single, seemingly innocuous post. Trump, in his unique fashion, turned a Taco Bowl into a talking point, a moment of cultural commentary that was as divisive as it was delicious. The response to Trump's Taco Bowl tweet was a buffet of reactions, ranging from amusement to outrage. Critics saw it as a tone-deaf attempt at outreach, while supporters cheered Trump's unconventional approach to cultural celebration. The internet feasted on the moment, serving up a smorgasbord of memes, parodies, and think pieces. Trump's Taco Bowl tweet was emblematic of his presidency's flavor, bold, unpredictable, and always capable of dominating the news cycle. It was a reminder that under Trump, even a lunch choice could become a political statement, a testament to his unparalleled ability to blend the realms of personal preference and public discourse. The moment Trump was photographed seemingly overfeeding koi fish during a visit to Japan became an unexpected symbol of his diplomatic style, bold, unconventional, and ripe for interpretation. This simple act, magnified by the lens of the media and the scrutiny of the public, rippled through the news cycle, generating a wave of commentary and critique. Trump, with a sprinkle of fish food, sparked a global conversation about etiquette, diplomacy, and the nuances of international relations. This incident was a testament to the scrutinizing eye under which Trump's every move was observed, where even a gesture, as benign as feeding fish, could be loaded with meaning. The Koi Pond episode was dissected from every angle, with critics arguing it reflected Trump's heavy-handed approach to foreign policy, while supporters saw it as an innocent, even endearing moment blown out of proportion. The ensuing debate filled social media platforms, op-ed pages, and dinner table discussions, highlighting the divisive nature of Trump's presidency. Each splash of fish food became a metaphor for Trump's impact on the global stage, unpredictable, discussed, and dissected. It underscored the reality that in Trump's world, every action, no matter how small, could become a significant event, a moment to be analyzed and debated. President Trump, a senior... The image of Trump seated at a notably small desk during a photo op became an instant metaphor for the Trump presidency, larger-than-life character meets unorthodox setting. This visual, quickly dubbed Tiny Desk, was ripe for meme culture, encapsulating the juxtaposition of Trump's grandiose persona with the constraints of the presidency. The small desk wasn't just a piece of furniture, it was a stage for Trump's unique brand of leadership, where the traditional trappings of power were often replaced with something more idiosyncratic and meme-worthy. Spouting lies that were filled with... Trump, ever the master of controlling the visual narrative, turned an odd photo op into a memorable moment, demonstrating his knack for remaining at the center of the cultural conversation. The Internet's response to Trump's small desk was a mixture of humor, satire, and symbolism. Some saw it as a diminishment of presidential authority, while others viewed it as a clever, if unintentional, commentary on the state of politics. The small desk became a canvas for the public's perceptions of Trump's presidency, a way to illustrate opinions about his tenure's efficacy and style. It was a reminder that under Trump, the White House was as much a stage for political theater as it was the seat of executive power, with every prop and setting loaded with potential for commentary. Something very, very important today. Okay, thank you very much. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe 
as I will continue posting only the best K-pop and celebrity content. Always makes me happy. So, this was Watch Wave, and until next time, have a good one. This is all Biden run.